And to develop our intuition about second derivatives just a little bit more, let's try to understand what second derivatives mean in a word problem. Right? So Gerald, the sad Cubs fan, says that, you know what, we may, be, uh, we may be losing lots of fans every year, but at least we're slowing the rate at which people are leaving our fan base. Right? So the Cubs have been doing bad, people are leaving for a long time. Gerald says this, but what does this mean? Gerald doesn't realize it, but he's talking about the second derivative when he talks about this. And so what does he really mean? And so to kind of just start us off, let's maybe just start with the graph of f of x, so just the graph of fans. So at time equals zero, maybe they had something like a million fans way up here. And then when they started stinking, you know, whenever that was, whenever Moises Alou and Steve Bartman had that scuffle, they lost a ton of fans, right? So that year they lost a bunch. But what Gerald is saying is, well, you know what, we're losing fans from year to year, but we're not losing them as fast as we were before. So, you know, they're losing them really fast here. And so what Gerald is saying, well, we're still going to lose fans this next year. We're not going to gain more fans, but it's just not going to be as big as a dip as it was here, right? Maybe it'll be down to here. And then the year after that, Gerald says they're still losing more fans and they're still slowing down the rate, right? So now we're just looking, when we're trying to figure out what this point would be over here, it's just not going to be as big as a difference as it was here. So maybe it's like right there. Then maybe here, maybe they just lose a couple fans, right? So the Cubs are starting to turn it around. They have that new Reds general manager, and people are starting to say, you know what, maybe I shouldn't hate the Cubs, and eventually maybe in the future it'll take off, but that's not what Gerald's talking about right now. He's just talking about slowing the rate at which people are reading. So remember this word rate means derivative. And so if we kind of think about this graph here, well, f prime is actually still negative the whole time, right? The graph is always decreasing, and that's what he says. We're losing fans every year. But f double prime is actually, if you look at the concavity of this graph, it's positive, right? And so to do these types of word problems, it really helps to try to think about f and maybe even draw out an example of what it could be. Let's just do one more so you can see what it might be like. So the price of gas is rising faster and faster, right? So, and kind of what's important here is this word rising. So it's rising faster, right? So let's start with t equals zero. Maybe this is like 1995 when I remember gas, or maybe it wasn't 95, but when I was young, gas was under a dollar a gallon. I remember seeing 97 cents. So here it is. So gas is rising, all right? So it started rising slowly, you know, got to a dollar fifty. But what this problem says is it's rising faster and faster. So here it's kind of rising fast, but we want it to be rising even faster next. So the difference between these two points, now it needs to be even more than that. So something like this, right? And since it's, and it's supposed to keep rising faster and faster, so now the next difference is even supposed to be bigger than this one. So it's like starting to get off the charts, right? So the point is the difference between here, here, and here, is bigger than the difference between here and here, is bigger than the difference between here and here. So the price of gas is rising faster and faster. Right? So this is what my graph looks like. And so if we think about what f prime is here, since we were able to draw out our graph, f prime would be positive, and f double prime, again, it's actually also going to be positive. And so other word problems you can do kind of with the same technique. I really encourage you to actually try to think about what f is and what these words mean. Paying attention to words like rising and rate to kind of key in on what they're actually saying.